What's up guys, it's your boy TMG and welcome to another Warcraft video. I'm level 50. Because <laughs> I thought 50 was a level cap, so I was racing to 50 just to hit 50 and find out that 50 is not the level cap. But maybe it's 60. I don't know, but we're going to get there. <laughs> but today, guys, we're going to talk about Garnets. We're going to talk about how to manage your Garnets efficiently and pretty much how to get them. Um, I'm going to talk about all the ways that I've found to get Garnets and a couple of different, you know, kind of tips and tricks to help you guys kind of figure out what you really want to do with your Garnets. Because I know some of you are probably hoarding them. Some of you are still early in the game or really looking at your Garnets like, how should I spend them? What should I do with them? Um, but we're going to cover all that today. So first and foremost, when you start the game, I don't know how long they're gonna do this event. Um, so today is the second of May in 2017. So if you guys are playing this any other than today, then don't yell at me if the information is different. <laughs> but when you start out in the game, they start you off with like 500 garnets, right? Cause that's what it is. Um, and literally like what you should do, like as soon as you start the game after the summon shot becomes available is just do your 10 plus one and see what you get. Um, now understand that Kind of spoiler alert, when you guys do your story mode, they're going to give you... Damn it. Don't show the units. <laughs> when you do the story mode, they're going to give you uh, actual units um, that are literally some of the best units in the game um, that can help you with your progression. So don't feel like, you know, when you start the game, if you don't pull, like, the best units in the game off of your first summon pack, that you have to, like, chain summon and summon and summon and summon and summon and summon. And summon. And use all your garnets uh, just so you can feel as if you can achieve something. Uh, because there are a lot of players out there that are like re-rolling and doing all that crazy craziness. But in this game, honestly, it's really not necessary. Um, like, for instance, if you guys haven't seen my free-to-play, like, uh, win-for-free guide, uh, I literally talk about some of the units that you can use in the game literally crush the game uh, with or with Nat 5s or without Nat 5s. However, uh, like I said, throughout the story mode, they're going to give you some. And if you do happen to pull Nat 5s, keep in mind that it's going to be tough to skill them up for them to reach their maximum potential unless you're summoning consistently. Now, um, in terms of obtaining garnets, there are a few ways that you guys can go about doing this. Uh, one of the ways I'll cover in another video uh, that I talk about farming crystals, these guys up here. Um, but today, we're just going to talk about the few basic ways. So one of the most effective ways to do it is to really just max out, get your 30 stars in each stage. I got to go back and do this because, I mean, I got a couple hundred garnets just chilling, uh, just waiting <laughs> for me to uh, just go through and collect these. But this is one of the ways that you can do this. So if you guys are getting your three stars on Mythic and uh, Heroic and all that jazz, uh, there's a, as you guys can see, there's a bunch of garnets just sitting here up for grabs. Also, another way that uh, a lot of you might be unaware of is when you go into your adventure mode, no matter the difficulty, uh, occasionally when you guys go through here, um, let's say we're doing um, any of these, right? You, you pick a stage and you're like, boom, um, there is a chance. Oh, hold on. There's a four star weapon in here. I'm, uh, oh, yeah, we definitely got to farm this stage. Uh, but um, there's a chance that chests drop in the actual uh, adventure. And the thing is, in those chests are random amounts of garnets. Uh, the most I've gotten out of a chest so far is 30 garnets. Um, I don't know if they, if they come in higher multiples than that, but it's a nice way to get them. So if you guys aren't paying attention or you guys are just autoing, make sure you guys keep an eye on your map because sometimes there are chests that spawn. And if you use a basic attack on this chest, they open up and there's garnets inside the chest. And that's another way to get garnets. Also, the other way that I'll talk a little bit more about on uh, the next video, like I said, when we talk about the crystals, is farming garnets uh, via leveling up monsters. And I found the most effective way to do this is to take a hero um, or maybe a friend's rep or something like my rep and uh, take your strongest guy So let's say I would take my Naz or I would take well not really my Naz because he's not even close to my strongest But let's say I would take um, I would take my Elven here and I would take um, You know some of my three-star heroes or four-star heroes or whatever that are just sitting around and I just level them up max Because no matter what you're doing every time you max a hero they give you garnets so um, that's a beautiful way to do it. Now, I, I can hear you guys kind of, but the TMG, aren't you going to spend garnets to refill energy to love them? No. What you're going to do is by utilizing your friend monster as much as you can, um, you get you finish this mission here. Um, where's it at? Scroll all the way down here. 
Um, and you get 500 friend points if you win 100 battles with a friend. And trust me, uh, 100 battles is, goes by really fast and it doesn't really cost that much. And what you can do is you kind of make yourself self-sufficient and you can refill your mandolins with your friend points here. I don't even know how many friend points I have. I know I have a ton. Um, but you get a ton of friend points just from doing this quest alone, let alone if people are actually using your rep, then you can get even more and then you can literally just use this to refill your mandolins. And also, pro tip here, um, so as soon as your energy, you see my thing is out of 89. So as soon as your energy drops one point below this maximum number, you can refill your mandolins. So like, it's a nice way to buy yourself more time. So as soon as it drops like 88, you can come in here, full charge it. It'll give you the full total amount of your energy. And then you just keep going. <laughs> and it's nice because it gives you like, you know, look, I don't know what, you know, what your guys' number at, but it gives you that full amount. Um, and it buys you more time. So you can just go, 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 get your 100 battles knocked out or whatever, especially if you're a normal uh, with a friend rep and then get your another 500 points and it's literally just refill, 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 which will allow you to stockpile your gems, especially if you're max leveling heroes. And then from there, uh, you can do whatever you want with your with your garnets. So uh, like I mentioned before, in the beginning, you should do your, your summit pack first, but then you kind of come to a junction because by the time you guys finish um you know some story missions you guys are knocking out normal normal and heroic i mean you literally are going to have like 12 to 1500 garnets and you could save them uh you could use them for uh expanding your equipment slots here like if you guys are like courting and stuff you can expand all of your material slots hero slots item slots all that jazz if you want to do that uh or you could save them for refills uh you can kind of do whatever you want or if you want to summon the lights out absolutely go for it so that's pretty much it guys in terms of what to do with your garnets how to really get them and how to really maximize your energy while doing those um so like i said just to kind of quick rehash quests obviously uh max out your stars on your stages and then farm 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 and get them level monsters leveled and then of course always remember to use your social points for refreshes and you can keep a steady 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 flow of garnets i've been using mine for some impacts so if you guys wonder like where your garnets at tfg that's where they went. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy TFG, and we'll see you guys in the next video.